This question says the diagram shows a hexagon. The hexagon has one line of symmetry. Here we have the diagram. And then it says FA equals BC, EF equals CD, angle ABC equals 117 degrees. And all of that is marked in. We have these lines indicating those lengths are the same and that angle is 117 degrees. Angle BCD equals two times angle CDE. So BCD is here and CDE is here. So if it's two times CDE, I might call CDE X and then BCD then is going to be two X. And the question says, work out the size of angle AFE. You must show all your working and AFE is in here. Okay, so this is an interesting problem because it says the hexagon has one line, line of symmetry. So you have to think, where would that line of symmetry be and why is that important? Pause the video now if you'd like to have a go at solving this problem yourself. A line of symmetry basically means that you can mirror both sides and they should be identical. Um, so, well, you can see here, well, we couldn't draw it through here, right? Because that would fold over. There's too many corners there. Uh, we need the same number of corners on each side and they need to look the same. Uh, what about, I don't know, through here? That's clearly not going to be the line of symmetry. Um, really, the only place that you can have a line of symmetry here must be this one here, right? Okay, so why is that important? Well, it allows us to say that uh, all of these angles on either side of this line of symmetry are the same. So this angle in here, BAF, is going to be 117, and AFE will also be 2X, and this one will be X in here. Um, and that actually allows you to solve the problem using that piece of information there. So we've set the problem up now. Let's go ahead and solve it. Firstly, you need to work out the interior angles of a hexagon. And I have a video on how to do this. You need to use the formula N take two. Uh, so let's write angles in a hexagon, angles in a hexagon equals uh, N take two n being the number of sides of the polygon uh, multiplied by 180. And that gives you the total of the angles in that shape. Uh, so we have six sides in a hexagon. So this is going to be six take two is four, four times 180. Four times 180 is 720. Okay, so we know that all of these angles need to add up to 720 degrees. So let's create an equation now, uh, and it will have one unknown of x, which we'll be able to solve for. So we can say then that uh, two lots of 117, remember we've got two of those angles up there, uh, plus 2x plus 2x plus x plus x. How many x's is that? That's six lots of x. So we're going to add on six, six lots of x, and that's going to uh, equal 720. Okay, now we have our equation. We go ahead and solve this for x and then we can answer the question. So 2 times 117, uh, we want to subtract that from the right hand side. So let's work out 2 times 117 first. Well, maybe you've already done it in your head, but I'm going to go ahead, go ahead and use a calculator because this is a calculated question. So that's 234 and then I want to subtract that from 720. So 720 take 234 that's 486. So what we're going to end up with here is 6x equal to uh, 486. Okay, and then how do we solve for x here? We need to get rid of this 6, 6 multiplied by x. We do the opposite to get rid of that multiplication. We divide by 6 on the right hand side. So 486 divided by 6 is going to give us our value for x. So x here is going to equal 81. And you might think, okay, all done now, but hold on, you need to remember to answer the question. Remember the question says, work out the size of angle AFE. So go back to the diagram. Remember AFE was two lots of X. So we need to actually work out two lots of X here. So two multiplied by 81, that's going to be 162. So final answer there, 162 degrees. And that was a four mark question for that one. And I found it interesting just because of that uh, detail of the line of symmetry. I haven't really seen that in many problems. Hope you found that interesting too. Leave a like if you did and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.